Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this continuation of the Unity and Pro Builder tutorial series, we're going to start taking a look at the Material Editor. And if you're ready to keep creating, let's go. And back in Unity again, and what are we going to be looking at? We're going to be looking at another Pro Builder tool, and that is the Material Editor. So we're just going to create a simple game object, and we'll do a Pro Builder cube. And let's just go ahead and zero that location. So zero, zero, zero. And there we go. So let's go ahead and select one of those faces. With my face tool selected, I'm going to select the face and then just drag this out. So I still have just six sides to this cube, but it's now just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to change this side to be out just a little bit further as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's insert an edge loop. So I don't want this to necessarily be a just a straight block. I'm going to go ahead and just insert an edge loop. So I'm going to select with my edge tool selected. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these edges. And then I'm going to go over to my Pro Builder tools and insert edge loop. So this adds another section to my shape. Now, what am I going to do here? I'm going to go ahead and move this loop down just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the bottom and do my face selection and then I just want to scale this down so it's kind of tapered in. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose my scale tool. I'm going to use that middle gray box so that it scales down proportionally and you can see that we now have a new shape. Okay again this is going to be kind of like a little island or something but it's again it's just really really simple. So what I'm going to do is, again, we're looking at the material editor. So if I click on material editor, now I already have materials assigned to this, but all you have to do is you can simply go to your project, uh, grab materials, and then insert those into that window. Let's go back to Pro Builder and pop that back up. Um, so I can click and drag over into this window, or I can select each of the dots next to the material and my material list shows up that all the materials that I can then use with the material editor. Now these, this, the material editor has a few predefined quick commands that you can use. So in this first one, it's a lit material. Then I've got other materials that I've just dragged from my project into the material window. And then each of these, if I want to select a face, so let's go ahead and dock this real quick. I'm going to dock this down here, open this up just a little bit. And if I select one of these faces, I can then assign a material to it. So again, using the quick command, I can either click on this button, or if I don't have this window up, I can use the Alt-4, Alt-5, whatever. I can use the quick commands to then assign a material to that. So if I know what these predefined materials are, I can go ahead and add them. So let's go ahead and add this bricks uh, material to the top of this. So you can see that it's now added a material to the top face. So let's go ahead and select these side faces. Yep, those are all selected. Let's go ahead and choose another one. Let's go ahead and Choose wallpaper. Why not? We're kind of being goofy here. And then, actually, you know, let's make the sides brick. So we're going to go ahead and make that brick. And then the top, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, choose grass. And there we go. And then on the bottom, something else. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's just showing the material editor. And so it's some kind of mechanical material. Okay, so this allows us to quickly change materials based off of either selecting the whole game object. So if I selected the whole game object and I wanted it to all be grass, I can just select that grass material to all the faces at once, or I can select a face and then choose a material and that gets applied to that face. So this is the material editor and this will allow you to quickly update faces and materials for your game objects. Hey, another great tutorial. And if you don't mind, hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.